Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Amber and I love all things handbag related. With a little bit of emphasis on the brands Beer Bradley and Lug and everything else at this point because I am just a handbag addict that loves all the bags. So, that sounds good to you? Then stick around and let's hang out. So this is a little bit behind schedule. I'm a little bit late, but happy belated Mother's Day to all of you out there that are a mom, a mama, a mima, a grandma, or if you've just played a mama role in anybody's life, happy Mother's Day to you. Being a mom is by far the hardest but most rewarding job that I've ever had in my life. And Lord God, let's all pray together that I haven't screwed my kids up too bad. <laughs> anyway, so today's video is my Mother's Day handbag haul. If you've been here for a while, then you'll probably recall that I have told y'all before that when it comes to holidays, gifting, what have you, my husband and I typically just say, here's your budget, buy what you want with it. It saves us a whole lot of time and effort in purchasing things for each other that we may not actually like. And, you know, we just end up with what we actually want. And I'm a crazy bag lady, so I went for the bags. So, let's get into it. I have two brand new Vera Bradley bags to share with you. I have a Kate Spade bag to share, a Michael Kors bag to share, and then I have one Coach bag to share. It was supposed to be two Coach bags and like three little SLG type items, but Coach shipped everything out separately. Coach Outlet, I should say. Let me rephrase. Coach Outlet shipped everything out separately, and so now they're all just kind of trickling through the snail mail, and I guess they'll be here whenever they get here. But I have no patience, so I'm going to go ahead and show y'all what I've already received. So let's go with Vera Bradley first, and then we'll work our way into the contemporary bags. Alright, so this first bag that I picked up from Vera Bradley is going to come as no surprise to my regular viewers that watch this content. This is a Franny Crescent crossbody in the pattern. I have no idea. Let me look. It's in Summer Stars. So, this is their new pattern that they just released for the summer. Clearly, this one is very, very holiday inspired. Let me get up close and I'll let you see what it looks like up close. So, it's a navy background and it does just have the stars all over it. Some are bigger, some are smaller. Blue, white, red. I think that's all we got going on here, is it? Yep. Red, white, and blue stars. And then on the inside of this one, you get, well, you get your adjustable removable crossbody strap that will fully go crossbody on me, no problem. And then it also comes with the shoulder strap. Now, the shoulder strap is fixed on here. Yeah, I wanted to make sure I wasn't lying to you and that they hadn't changed it. But the shoulder strap is fixed on here, so you can't remove this strap when you go to wear it. If you want to wear it with the longer strap, what I have done essentially to get this one out of the way is I just push it down behind it so that that shorter strap is up against my body with the long strap on and then it stays out of the way. It's not a hindrance in any way, shape, or form. Or you can also do what I've done to a few of my other bags and you can cut these original uh, little hardware bits off of the strap right here. And you can replace it with your own quick release o-rings so that you can take this strap on and off as you want or put a different strap on it or however you want to do it i love to chop my bags up sometimes and change them around and make them work better for me but this is a i'm not going to say this is a small bag because to me this is not a teeny tiny small bag it's more on the smaller side of a medium sized bag if that makes sense so if you look in here there's actually a really decent amount of room and there's a look at that interior pattern it's stripes and stars two different shades of blue your white very patriotic very very much fourth of july inspired but inside this bag, you do get a really good amount of room. I can easily fit my phone, wallet, keys, hand sanitizer, a snack, a small catch-all, my earbuds, 
Like, I can fit all of my essential junk in here, plus a little bit more if I really want to. So, this is a, a phenomenal bag, in my opinion. It's extremely simple, no pockets on the outside anywhere. I love this silhouette because it's it's just so good. I've said this over and over, but it's just such a good, fun, easy little shoulder bag silhouette. You can throw it up on your shoulder. It it just tucks right up under there, but it's not up in your armpit. It's not uncomfortable. It can be as flat as you want it to be, or you can really, you know, fill it out and poof it out and get all of your items in there. And it's just such a cute little shoulder bag, crossbody bag, however you want to carry it. On the inside here, you get two kind of organizational pockets. You get, all right, this should be the front because right here on the side is the new Vera Bradley label that they put off to the side as opposed to the old one that used to be kind of centered. So against this side of the bag where the little tag is, you get a slip pocket right here. And then on the back, you get a really nice sized zipper pocket down in there. That that's really close to going the entire length of the bag. So this one is really, really simple. Really, really cute. If you like just a small hobo little shoulder bag type moment, which is huge in fashion right now. These little, just little shoulder bag silhouettes. These are hugely popular right now. So if this is up your alley and you're not a huge fan of really bright, bold, in your face out there patterns but you want to try something give this one a try it's not too crazy it's it's patriotic and from afar you can tell it has a pattern but i don't think that this one is too busy i don't think it's too in your face i think this one is really really cute and i adore it so this is the first bag that i picked up from vera bradley the franny crescent crossbody in summer stars Alright, the second Vera Bradley bag that I picked up is also a style that I've already got, but this is another new pattern that I picked up. So, this one is Sea Air Floral, and this one is definitely a bright, springy, summery floral pattern full on. When I first saw this one, I really, really wasn't sure if I liked the pattern or not. I was kind of iffy on it. I went back and forth. And the more I looked at it, it was one of those that really kind of grew on me. So, I'm not a huge, huge fan of orange. I don't know what it is, but orange has never been my jam. And these bigger flowers that are in this pattern have a lot of orange in them. But I think this pink, the pinky red kind of tones it down and helps it not be so like you know, in your face. And if you look at the rest of the pattern, it's just really kind of soft and feminine and very pretty. Like I said, very springy, very summery. It, it reminds me, or it makes me think of being out in the middle of a field when the breeze goes by. And you know when it, uh, is it the dandelions that have died and they have the little sprigs that we used to pick up as kids and we blow them and they'd all go flying through the air for whatever reason that is what this pattern makes me think of it's picking up those little dead flowers i think it's the dandelions but yeah picking those up and blowing them across the field and watching them as they you know catch on the wind and just go flying that's what i think of when i look at this and i genuinely can't tell you why but I think it's really, really pretty. Just very pretty. So this bag style, which I haven't even told you what this is yet. <laughs> I'm doing a horrible job. This is the Vera Bradley pleated shoulder bag. I don't even know. It's been so long since I've talked about Vera Bradley that I'm forgetting the names of everything. So this one is the pleated multi-strap satchel. 
and I do really quite like this style a lot as well. So this is more of a medium to large sized bag, just depending on who you are and what you would consider a medium to large bag. So you get your two shorter straps at the top right here. These will easily go over the crook of your arm, but while you can get them up on your shoulder, I would not recommend because it is literally going to be up in your armpit. So these two shorter straps are hand carry or crook of the arm, I would imagine. So the front of this bag, again, right here is the little label that they put on the side now. So the front of the bag, you get one large pocket right here on the front and it does have a magnetic closure. This pocket goes from there to there. It's essentially this seam all the way to the bottom and this seam all the way to the bottom. So it's quite a large pocket. On the back side, you get that exact same magnetic slip pocket. The magnets are really, really good. I have never had anything fall out of these pockets. I also forgot to mention that, of course, this does come with its adjustable, removable crossbody strap that easily goes crossbody. And then on the inside of this bag, you get your very standard kind of setup with most handbags, the two-in-one. Two slip pockets, one zip pocket. So again, that little label, that little tag is right here. So against the front wall here, you get your two slip pockets right there, if you can see those. And I'll give you a look at the interior. It's just, is that flowers? Yeah, it's just little flower bundle motifs. It's sweet. It's cute. I wish the background wasn't navy. I'm not a huge fan of black or navy backgrounds because it just makes everything harder to see inside. But the little flower bundles help brighten it up a bit. And then across the back, if you can see there, you get one nice long zipper pocket. Other than that, this bag style has an absolute ton of room inside of it. You can fit, I don't have an iPad, so I don't know the actual measurements or size of a full-size iPad, but I guarantee you can fit a mini iPad in here for sure. You can fit a lot of tablets in here that I would imagine maybe are like the 9 inch and below size. But that is the second bag that I picked up from Vera Bradley, the pleated multi-strap satchel in sea air floral. Alrighty, up next let's do the Michael Kors bag. Alright, so the Michael Kors bag that I picked up is called the Harrison Large Crossbody in Denim. So this is a leather bag, but this did come from the Michael by Michael Kors line, so this is more of their outlet line. And if I'm going to be totally honest with you, I'm just a little bit disappointed with this one. Only because it seems smaller to me than the dimensions online made it sound like it was going to be. If that makes sense. I read the dimensions online. I got the image of my head of what it was going to be, especially with it being called a large crossbody. And when it arrived, it seems a bit smaller than what I anticipated. So let me take the stuffing out and all of that and then I'll get you up close and show you the details. Alright, so first things first, this comes with one strap. It is a long strap. It is adjustable with the buckle style adjustment. It is matching to the bag. It is the leather kind of blue gray shade gold hardware. The bag itself has no pockets on the outside. This is just like a seam right here. This doesn't make a pocket. And the exact same thing on the back. And if you look at the sides, the zipper was brought over the edge on each side, but that's just, that's just an accent. Like a, uh, I cannot think of what I'm trying to say here. It's just an aesthetic accent. You can't pop it up or do anything with it. It stays fixed there. And then your D-rings sit right at the end of the zipper on each side. And you can see that you have a little gap 
around your zipper on each side. So I guess theoretically something could potentially fall out of that little gap or that little hole, but I could, I, I don't think it would. So they called this a large crossbody and I'm here to tell you this is not large. I, I want to say, I don't know. I will put a photo of the listing for this up right now so that you can see it and see what the dimensions read. But this to me is not whatever that says. <laughs> so no pockets on the outside, gold hardware and what have you. On the inside is really, really simple. You get that light colored lining, which I always appreciate. One zipper pull, not two. And then you have a slip pocket on this side and a slip pocket on the opposite side. So you just have open space with two slip pockets and that's just the little care booklet that comes with all of Michael Kors products. So when I ordered this, I got super excited because I loved the kind of rectangular boxier shape of it where it didn't come to a full taper at the top. A lot of crossbody bags that are intended to be used as a crossbody will taper at the top to the zipper, right? It'll come to a point at the zipper at the top. And that's so it'll lay nice and kind of flat against your body and it's really comfortable. And in the photos, I could see that this had more depth to it across the top. Like it didn't taper to that point. So in my mind, this was going to be a little bit bigger than it is now. And it was going to be the perfect size for just a really great everyday kind of throw and go crossbody bag. I adore the color blue and this blue in particular has kind of gray undertones so it makes it super neutral. It was a really simple, really kind of just classic looking crossbody bag that I felt like was going to be big enough to be an everyday bag but not so big that it was going to be overwhelming and it's just a little bit smaller than I wanted it to be. It's still a great bag. It is good quality. The stitching looks fabulous. Everything on it is in perfect condition. It's literally just a little bit smaller than I anticipated. So that is the Harrison large crossbody, large leather crossbody in denim. Okay, we have two more bags to go for this haul. It should have been three. I'm really upset because that other coach bag is fabulous. Or it looks fabulous. I'm hoping it's just as good as I'm hoping it's going to be. <laughs> okay, so we have a Kate Spade and a coach left. Which one should we do first? I love both of these. Like, I am smitten with both of them. So, let's just go with the Kate Spade. Alright, so the Kate Spade bag that I picked up is from the Kate Spade Surprise uh, website. So that's the Kate Spade like outlet website. And look, I'll be totally honest with you guys. I tend to prefer a lot of the outlet bags like the Coach outlet bags, the Kate Spade outlet bags. I, I really like the outlet bags. Um, first and foremost, you can save a you know what load of money if you go with the outlet bags and their designs are super cute and if you know what you're looking for you can pick up the retail bags off of the outlet site because they switch over if they haven't sold in so long. anyway okay so this is the kate spade jet small tote in green bean and like I said, this is from the Kate Spade Surprise Outlet site. So let me take you on a quick tour. So up here at the top, we have our two shorter grab handles. I'm going to leave those covered for the moment. Because this bag is in canvas, if you can see that. This is a purely canvas bag. And I don't think that it's a coated canvas because it certainly doesn't feel like a coated canvas. It feels like a raw canvas. And because it has the white in it, it's a, it's a creamy white, but it's a white. 
And because it has this white in it, I think I'm going to spray protect this one before I actually use it. Simply because I have kids, life is messy. I don't want a giant, you know, ketchup stain right on the front of it or something. So, this is a canvas tote. And it does come with the two shorter grab handles up here, like I said. On the outside of this bag, on the website, I am fairly certain that this said it only had two slip pockets on the outside. But it actually has three. So, you get a slip pocket on each end so you have one here one here and then if we flip it to the back you get another really nice kind of large slip pocket right here on the back it goes almost to the bottom and about right here to about right here so it's a pretty good size one you can see up here at the top on each end you do have a D-ring, so this does come with an adjustable, removable, longer crossbody strap. So let me unzip it and I'll give you a quick tour of the inside. Okay, for any of y'all that buy Kate Spade bags, whenever you receive them, are they always full of the little um, silica packs like this? Literally every time I buy a Kate Spade bag, there's like five or six of these little silica packs down in there. And it really makes me wonder if the warehouse that they store these in just has some kind of crazy moisture issue or something. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so this bag, like I said, it comes with the adjustable removable crossbody strap. And this one is in a canvas type material as well. Matches the bag perfectly. I noticed there a second ago it looked like it kind of didn't match on the camera. But it is a perfect match. And like I said, it's in that canvasy material as well. It is wider. It looks like it's about an inch and a half wide. So it should be fairly comfortable for most people. It is adjustable with a full slide adjuster there. So super easy to move around. If we start at the top zipper up here, you'll see you got that little tailpiece wagon out there. You can just tuck that in. But that is to allow your zipper to open up and expand more so you can open your bag up better. And if you look at the zipper, you'll see it's kind of that chunky nylon style zipper. So very kind of sporty, active wear type bag. You know what I mean. So if we get to the inside, let's see what we got going on. Oh, I also forgot to mention that this zipper on the top when it is zipped, you still have a hole on each end. So again, you could potentially have things come out of there, but I've never really had an issue with it. It just makes this zipper not a complete full zip across. You still have a zipper closure. It's still very secure, but just be aware that you do have those holes on each end. So now if we unzip it and get to the inside, let's see what we got going on in here. And it does not look like much. <laughs> so the Kate Spade logo is on this wall of the bag. And if I flip it around and show you, there's nothing on that wall of the bag. There's no slip pockets. There's nothing. So if we turn it around to the back, we get one zipper pocket there. One decently sized zipper pocket. It's actually not that deep. I take it back. It's wide, but it's not very deep. So that is all of the internal organization that we get on this one. But it has a ton of space on the inside there. I still love and adore this. If you've been watching a lot of my videos, you'll know that uh, this, this satchel tote style, kind of smaller-ish, well, this one's kind of bigger, but... A smaller satchel tote style bag is my jam 100%. These are the kind of bags that I absolutely love and adore. And I love and adore green. I love and adore this bag. <laughs> so that's the Kate Spade bag that I picked up. The Jet Small Tote in Green Bean. And if any of these bags that I show you in this video are still available, I will have them linked in the description box below so that you can find them super easily. 
And the last bag that I have to show you for this haul is the Coach Millie Shoulder Bag in Pale Pistachio. So this is in a really pretty kind of light sagey green. I, I just said I love green like I adore green. So when I saw this I fell in love. I couldn't decide between the Millie shoulder bag or the Millie satchel. So I'm thinking I want to go back and get the Millie satchel in black because yeah you know bags me. I like them. <laughs> anyway so this bag comes with two straps. I have already taken all of the you know riffraff off of them all of the covering and all of that that's not actually you know riffraff I quite actually um, appreciate them covering everything so well if I didn't say it this is a coach outlet bag but I'm a little bit worried now I'm gonna try this longer strap on with you guys because if I'm not wrong I'm, I'll pop the listing up here if I'm not wrong I think in the listing somewhere that it said this longer strap had a 17 and something inch drop on it and that makes me really nervous because if this longer strap has only got a 17 inch drop it ain't gonna go crossbody on me it's not gonna work but let's look at the shoulder strap first so this one is a good easy comfortable fit this bag does have a slimmer profile so it'll easily fit on your shoulder under your arm it's not gonna be you know digging up in your armpit you have plenty of room there it is a nice kind of slimmer silhouette. It does that taper bit a little bit. Silver hardware on this version. And if you're familiar with the older style Coach Mickey satchel, which is this navy blue one right here. You probably can't see it, but it also has this kind of detail with the rivets around the corners, which is very... Uh, reminiscent of the Millie or the Millie's very reminiscent of the Mickey I should say has a turn lock flap right here and then across the back we have a zipper pocket so I use a Samsung Galaxy S22 the regular size not the ultra or you know the big ones or whatever they're called so Here's my phone case. Let's see if it'll fit in this back zipper pocket. And she does. So my phone fits in there pretty easily. Let me see how much space I have. Oh, wow. Okay. So this zipper pocket back here actually extends a little bit. Just a tiny bit beyond the end of the zipper there. So it's about right here. To... Just right on the other side of the zipper right here so let me push this over and see if I can try to show you one way or the other how much extra space there is around my phone all right so can you see where my phone ends right there there's about There's probably an inch and a half beyond where my phone sits inside that pocket. So if you do have a longer, larger phone than I do, it should still fit back there. If Just if you're curious about it. Okay, the inside of the bag, like I said, you have the um, silver hardware and the little turn lock flap. So when we open that up, let me take the stuffing out. So, when we open this up, there we go. This actually looks like it has a really good amount of space to it. And where this leather is not a really structured, firm leather and it has some give, you should be able to fit quite a lot in here. I think this is definitely going to be a tiny but mighty kind of bag. I think it's going to hold way more than what it looks like it might hold. Okay, that's not coming off right now. Forget it. You have no pockets here against the front side, but along the back there, you have one really, really nice large zipper pocket. So again, just for the demonstration purposes, 
there's your little coach card with the little thievery thing in it. Here's my phone case again, which was a Timu purchase that I adore. But for reference, there's my phone case in that zipper pocket. So again, you can see that that's about how much excess space you have on that back zipper pocket as well. So yeah, at least an inch and a half beyond. So longer, larger phones should fit in there. No problem. All right, now it's time for the moment of truth. Let's get this longer strap and see if it's actually going to fit or not. But I got to put this back first or I'll totally forget it and then I'll throw it away and it'll drive me crazy because I need all the bits and bobs to all the bags. So that's super easy to close. Again, I'm just going to leave this strap on there. I think it still looks pretty cute. Let's attach the longer one. So I did go ahead and adjust this all the way to its longest setting. And let's throw it on and see if it's going to work or not. definitely doesn't look like a 17 inch strap drop but I swear I think that's what the listing said oh no this is not 17 inches or this is not a 17 inch drop because this totally fits me crossbody like perfectly it's not too high it's not a boob bag it's kind of just right at my hip right here that's yeah, that's a really, really good fit. That's really comfortable. It's a great drop on me. For reference, again, I am five foot two, around 145, 150-ish pounds. So I'm not a teeny tiny lady. If, yeah, this should work for most people, I would imagine. Because I think a strap drop length that I require is pretty universal. Unless you're, you know, just very, very petite or very small. But it does have a lot of adjustments on it as well, so it still should fit for just about anybody. But that is the Coach Millie shoulder bag in the pale pistachio color. And I adore it. I think it is absolutely fabulous. You got your little Coach hang tag there too, which I forgot to show you. But I think this bag is fantabulous. And I also forgot to show you that you do get your little coach emblem. It's just right there on the end, which I actually really like. I love that the front of this bag is very simple. Or, not simple because it's got the rivet detailing. But it's logo free, very kind of just classic leather bag. Beautiful. But then you turn it and it's like, there's your little pop of a logo. You know, your little whatever you want it to be, I guess. You know what I'm saying. You know what I mean. Y'all know what I'm saying. <laughs> but that's the Coach Coach Outlet Millie shoulder bag in Pale Pistachio. Amber from the future here, because my other coach order did finally arrive about five days after I filmed the first part of this. But um, I was slow to get the video up anyway, so it worked out. So let's let me show you these other coach items really quickly. I have three little, like, SLG type items and then the last bag that I picked up. So, the first little SLG that I picked up is the, what is this? A skinny mini ID in the color papaya. So, I've looked at these a bunch, but I've never purchased one because I just didn't know if it would be something that I would really like or not. I do like very small compact wallets, card holders, not card holders in the traditional sense, like just the card slots. I don't like that. I like something with a zipper that I can put coins in. Um, but when I realized one particular detail about this, I decided to give it a try. So this is in the papaya color. Like I mentioned, it has silver hardware. It's kind of like a tangerine orange. It's very pretty. So on the front there, you get two card slots. On the back you have an ID window and then this was the part that when I realized it I decided to try it so the zipper section across the top here actually opens up a decent little bit so you could get 
cash, additional cards, your coins, whatever in there. That's just some filler and paperwork. And then it's just like a beige color on the inside. And it does have a little key ring on it. So fairly simple little item. But this will be great for like smaller handbags because it'll zip up nice and slim. But it's a little, you know, it's a step up above a card holder. So this was the first little SLG that I picked up. The second one I'm going to show you, I absolutely adore this, but I didn't actually buy this one. This one was a uh, gift with purchase, like a complimentary thing. So if you're not aware, I keep something linked in my description box all the time. It's called Honey. It's just an app, and if you choose to shop through it, it will give you discount codes, It'll give you cash back that you can put into your PayPal account. Like, it's phenomenal. So, if you don't have that and you're interested in it, go check it out. This year alone, already, I have already made $247 in cash back. And that's not including the additional discount codes that I have found for purchases that I've shown on my channel. So, well worth looking at. But this was one of those codes that I picked up off of Honey. And no, I am not sponsored. Not at all. It's just something I really believe in because I use it myself. But this was one of those codes that I found through Honey when I went to check out. It said, hey, add this to your card. It's a complimentary gift. So I was like, okay. They called it a mini cosmetic in... It's a mini cosmetic in... Light teal... <laughs> Now, this thing is tiny. I would not call this a cosmetic. So, like, here's the little ID thing, and you can see the cosmetic next to it. Like, it has maybe an inch and three quarters in the depth on it, but it is so, so teeny, teeny, tiny that you could get maybe some lipsticks or, you know, something like that in there. But I call this more like a coin purse size, but it is just so stinking cute. It's just got the, is it embossing or no, it's neither. It's just got the foil coach lettering on there. And it came in like a light peachy color, I want to say. And then this teal. Obviously, I went for the teal because I love blues and greens. And then on the inside, you just have your little card. And then it is just a little pocket in there but it has the little gussets on the side right here so that when you unzip it nothing will fall out because it does unzip all the way down on both sides but it's just so stinking cute like I'm gonna get so much use out of this because I love pouches so that was the second little SLG and then this last SLG that I picked up is it this might very well might be my new favorite wallet of all time. I haven't used it yet, so I can't say that for sure, but just based on the overall design and everything, this this very well might be my new favorite wallet. So this is the, I hate trying to read their labels because I don't know what this stuff stands for, but this is the something, I don't know, I'll put the name of it right here up on the screen right now, and it came in I think the colors available when I found it were like a solid black leather, maybe like a solid cream colored leather, and then the black leather with the traditional canvas on it. I went with the black leather in the canvas because I am a uh, black bag, black accessory kind of person in general, but I like the addition of the canvas for a couple of reasons. The canvas makes it lighter and brighter and easier to see inside your bag. Plus, Coach's canvas is really hardy and really hard wearing and it doesn't damage very easily. And I, I've always just had really, really good luck with it. So, I, I really like their canvas. I love the solid black leather one. But again, really, really dark for, for my little accessory pieces in my bag. I try not to go really dark all the time. Because they can be hard to see. And then for the cream color, Lord, I'd have got that filthy in no time. You know what I mean? So that was that was just a no. But let me show you what this little piece looks like. So it's just like a little rectangle, basically. And right here on the front, you have one card slip. 
And then if we flip it around on the back here, you get four. So you have one, two, three, and four. These are a little bit harder to kind of get apart because the top of them, the way it's designed, like they just meld right into one another. So there's not a lot of separation. This top one I cannot get to right now, but like you have one here. You have one here, and you have another one up here, and one down here, but that top one I'm having a hard time getting to. But anyway, so you have four card slots on the back, one on the front, and then on this end, you get a little quick release O-ring, which I love. And then if you look at the top, it has a full zipper that goes down all the way on one side. So if we unzip it... On the inside, it's just all wide open, and you do get some depth here, so it's not completely flat, but it's not, like, hugely bulky. But if you see down in there, you have one slip pocket right here to put cards or whatever you want in there. That's just the paperwork and all that. But I typically don't put my cards in individual card slots. I, I'll put, like store cards and things like that on the back for the stores that I go to most often that I need those cards for. And then I may put my like driver's license right here in the front so it's easy to access. But my cash, my debit card, credit card, all of that kind of stuff will go in the center here. And my coins, you know, it's just one one little compact thing. To keep all of my stuff in. It's not super, super thick, but it's thick enough to hold everything. I love the external organization. I love the quick release clip. I just, I love everything about this. So once I start using it, I'll come back and give y'all an update on if I still love it as much as I thought I would. <laughs> but that was the last little SLG that I picked up. Okay, and then this last bag that I picked up that I had such high hopes for is called the nylon ellis shoulder bag or just the ellis shoulder bag and, it, and it's a nylon bag so if if you remember in the first coach bag i showed you in this video i t i mentioned that i thought the listing on that one had said the strap was uh had a 17 inch drop like 17 and three quarter inch drop it wasn't that bag. It was this one. So I'll put the listing up really quickly, like right here to show you. But the listing for the Ellis shoulder bag shows that the longer strap has a 17 and something drop on the longest strap. And if that were the case, this would not fit me. So let me get it out and I'll give you a look at it. All right. I went ahead and took all of the packaging and everything off of this one for the most part. So it comes with two different straps. This is a nylon bag and it's in kind of a like a darker sea foamy green or like a turquoisey sea foamy green color. I don't know how to describe it but I love the color of it. It has the silver hardware, which I think goes fantastically on this bag, on this particular color combo. They did have other colors that this came in. Um, they had gold hardware. I liked this one the best. I love blues and greens. So you get your little coat hang tag on there just like normal. You have your branding right here. You have no pockets on the outside of this bag anywhere. And if I show you the sides and bottom, this is a nylon bag, but if you look down the side here, like right here down into this little kind of triangle bit, this nylon is reinforced with leather all the way down the side, all the way across the bottom. No, I'm lying to you. This on the bottom is still nylon, but there's something... There's something a bit more structured in it. But you do get the leather reinforcements down the seam on the sides. And then the rest of it's nylon. <laughs> about lied. So this one comes with two different straps. So you have a shorter shoulder strap here. That's just a perfect little length for just 
such a cute little like shoulder bag. And then you also get the longer shoulder strap. Now this is the one that was supposed to have a 17 and some odd inch drop on it. And if that were the case, this would not fit me at all. But this fits me like I have extra length. Like I could pull this up more and still be perfectly comfortable. But I do have it all the way out as long as it will go. So it's a perfect fit. Like there's no there's no way this is a 17 and whatever inch drop because it just wouldn't fit me, period. <laughs> So this bag also comes with its own sort of little SLG. So you have a full zip top and I love this zipper pull. It has a little bit of this turquoise leather on it and it's just this big chunky silver ring. It's super, super cute. And then this bag also, like I said, comes with its own sort of little SLG. So you have a spot on your longer strap here somewhere, right here that you can clip this on if you want. So it has a little quick release ring on the back on a little leather tab. And then on the front here, you have a little slip pocket right there on the front. I have no idea if a card will fit in there. Let me grab one and we'll look really quickly. Okay, I can't find a card that doesn't have my information all the way around it. So we'll just use a little thing that's the same size as a card. Um. I think you could get a card in there, but it's, uh, let me unstuff it and see if it fits better. I mean, yeah, you could get a card in that little slip pocket, but it's going to stick up a little bit. It's, it's a tight fit. It's probably not the best place to put a card just because it is really really tight but you could get it in there if you needed to or if you just needed to be able to access it really quickly other than that you have a zipper that goes about halfway down on each side and across the top and it's just an open little pouch you could put your airpods or coins or hand sanitizer chapstick you know, any little bits and bobs that you wanted to keep with you for quick access. Like I said, you could clip it on that strap right there if you want to, but I'll never do that because I don't like things hanging off of my strap. Let me take the stuffing out of the bag and I'll show you the inside of it really quickly. Okay, before I show you the inside really quickly, there's two of these tags hanging off of my bag here, so I guess I can tell y'all what these are because maybe they, they're supposed to be super important since they gave me two of them. So it's just a little tag that hangs off of here like a, I think it's a little booklet type thing. So you can open it up and it's got the information in like other languages. It says, this accessory contains recycled nylon. It reflects our commitment to rethinking and reducing our impact on the planet. Wear it, love it, repair it, pass it on. Feels good, doesn't it? So, I guess they're just telling you that this is part of their recycled nylon range. You know, that's all good. That's cool. I just like the bag. <laughs> so, inside here, it is fairly simple. Against the front wall of the bag here, so this is where your little coach emblem is. So, on this wall, you have a slip pocket right there. And then against the back side you have a zipper pocket. That's the foam that they always stick behind their little creed patch. If I can get it out. But you just have a little zipper pocket there. And I have seen a few people, I think it's really cute, they will take the creed patch where it's sewn on this side and this side, and they will use this to, like, keep glasses or sunglasses held upright or they'll use it as like a place to stick an ink pen or just a place to stick something. Other than that, you just have all of this open space on the inside. It's a really, really good size. It's going to fit all of your essentials. No problem. The zipper is super smooth. I love the two different strap options. So you can wear it as the cute little shoulder bag or you could wear it as a longer shoulder bag or a crossbody bag. 
The shoulder strap is made of that like webbed nylon and it is fairly wide. I would say this is about an inch and a half wide. So it's going to be really comfortable for most people. It feels nice. It's soft. It's not that kind of slippery, plasticized, seatbelt feeling kind of stuff. And you get a little pouch with this one. I love this bag. This one definitely lived up to my expectations. I will probably change into this one right after this video. Maybe. I don't know. We will see. Because I'm also getting ready to record another Timu video and I've got some more dupes. So, they're pretty good too. But that was the last bag that I picked up. So, I'll send you back to past Amber to finish this video now. <laughs> So that is my Mother's Day handbag haul from all of the various places that I've decided to pick stuff up from, except for my other coach bag and my little SLGs that are still MIA somewhere in the snail mail. Hopefully I get them soon. If by some reason I do happen to get them before this video goes live, then I'll insert a clip of those items as well. I'll just look different. I'll just be in something else. But if that clip is not inserted, then I still haven't got them. I still have more Timu hauls coming. I have other stuff ordered. I have lots and lots and lots of stuff and bags and stuff and bags and bags and stuff coming. So I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. Again, super big, giant, humongous happy Mother's Day to all of you out there that are a mom, a mama, a Grammy, a grandma, a mama. Whatever it may be, if you've played a mother role to somebody in your life, then happy Mother's Day to you from me. And I hope that you had a wonderful day and you got to spend some time with your family. And I just hope it was a joyous occasion for you. If you guys have any comments, questions, or you just want to say hello, then please, as always, leave me a comment down below because I love to chat with you guys. And a huge thank you to all of my new subscribers. I don't know what happened that drew all of you guys to my channel but I am eternally grateful and I'm so happy to have all of you guys here and a bunch of you have been leaving me comments and we've been chatting and I've been getting to know all of you all and it's just been really really fun and I just want you to know that I'm incredibly happy to have you here like genuinely from the bottom of my heart I'm so happy to have you here so I've been told that I talk way too much so I'm gonna I'm going to zip it now and shut up. But if you guys have enjoyed this, please let me know. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. I don't think I normally even say that in my videos, but we'll say it today. Sure, it'll be fine. Leave me a comment below if you want to because I love to chat with y'all. And I'll shut up now and I will see y'all later. Belated Happy Mother's Day, y'all. Bye.